Hello, friends and confidants. Welcome back to MK Let's Play. I'm MK, and today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. <clears throat> it may be stated that there is a planet called the Moon. And my mission today is to send a Kerbal to the Moon and return him back again safely to Kerbal. We do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Let's go. And actually, that's not the truth. I'm actually going to send a robot. Because, you know, robots are better for space travel anyway. <clears throat> I mean, they just are. So. Let's just target that moon. Beep. Beep. Boop. Bop. Okay. And now I'm going to wait a while for Kerbal to rotate because I don't want to launch prematurely. <clears throat> okay, our lunar uh, vector is all set. Let's turn on the stability assist system and lift. <laughs> shimmy going on here. Maybe I didn't balance this thing right. Well, we're getting steadily up to speed right quickly. We're gonna go on off to the moon. Oh, we are whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon, but there is no whale, so we tell tall tales and sing a whaling tune. It's beautiful. Alright, we're about to break the atmosphere. <clears throat> Let's get rid of those uh, boosters, shall we? Ah, uh, it's just like a flower. Now let's keep going up to speed. Got a lot to go if we are to get to the moon and back. And we've broken through the atmosphere. You know what's funny is normal break through the atmosphere music hasn't started playing yet. Oh, there it is. There's our apogee point. We're just gonna push it all the way to the moon. Bang, zoom, to the moon. Just gotta keep that on plane. And everything will be just fine. I probably shouldn't be flying this rocket super tired as I am, but, you know, I just, I gotta do this. I'm doing pretty well, though. I mean, look at the plane. It's gonna go out to the, the moon. We're gonna have lunar intercept right about here-ish. I'm gonna swing around again. Oh, I'm out of rocket fuel. Next stage. And there it is, our Mooner trajectory. Let's speed things up, because I know, I know space travel is boring. Actually, you know what, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and break out the solar panels that I included. And also extend a high gain antenna. I mean, I don't think we need a high gain antenna, but better safe than sorry, right? Now, it does look like 
I might need to make a course adjustment, uh, adjustment or two here. It's an adjustment. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's going to take a very long time. Wait. <clears throat> I'm all backwards. That's not what I want to do at all. Or maybe it is. What am I thinking? I do want radial in, don't I? Yeah, I do. Change my moon art intercept just a little bit so that we can actually intercept the thing. radial in just a little bit and we also need to start uh, a retro burn in order to bring our orbit around so we can get an apogee so we're going to start the radial burn process now as soon as we swing this very heavy rocket around Tell this is going to be a little close. All right, there it is. That's our orbital path. And before we're hidden behind the moon and can't communicate with Kerbal anymore, we have to do a controlled burn so that we can uh, swing around the planet and fall into an orbit with the moon. So what I'm going to do is do a retro burn. Basically at the last second. <clears throat> now should be about 10 seconds One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. now I gotta wait to get a little bit closer Ten more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as we approach Parapsis, we're just going to get faster and faster. But it's important that we do approach Parapsis. That'll swing that tail around and we'll get a perfect orbit around the moon. Just 
just like that. Boom. Moon. Look, we're getting mooned. Let's do some science while we're here. caused a few of the samples to glue. It looks like it would be fun to paint the rockets with this. That would be fun. Ooh, let's close that. I don't want my brain being exposed out there. Alright. It's like a pressure. There's no pressure because we're in a vacuum. But we want to get anyway. You know, you can't measure temperature in space. There's no matter around to either hot or cold, except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself is probably going to give our R&D guys something to think about for a while. Okay, save that data. I'm gonna leave those doors open because that's where my solar panels are and I need to keep this craft charged, but I can close this now. All right, good, we're good, this is good. Four. Wait, no, 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 no. I was gonna say, before we go into the dark side and lose signal, I better rotate the spacecraft around, but we'll do that when we get to the other side. Alright, see you on the other side. We're about to lose signal, because we're about to go dark. Oop, no signal. We should still charge, though. Alright, we're about to reestablish. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna rotate in such a way that we'll be able to engage our afterburners and get back on a Kerbal orbit, because I think that's all we had to do. Yep, that's pretty much it. So we're going to do a positive burn on our orbital course, and that should slingshot us using the gravity of the moon all the way back to Kerbin.
And there we are. Now we've got to do a ritual burn. And try and knock this perigee down. So that when we come in, we don't splash into the continent. Just do a good job and make sure we're getting some solar. It'd be really inconvenient to run out of power now. There we are. Give me some power. Getting power. All right, you are getting power. How about you? What's our charge looking like? Uh, kind of low. Oh, we're uh, we're getting more charge. Just a little bit. percent charge that's what I like to see all right so not gonna run out of power anytime soon It might seem paranoid that I want to keep that panel directed to the sun. But let me tell you, it's not a good feeling when you run out of power halfway to home. So I need to reduce all speed. So I basically just dip in. Do a dab right into the atmosphere. So let's just right. Okay, still quite far. Still lots of good charge here. Yeah, 
next time. So we go around one more time. Okay, well, I haven't done it exactly right. What do I have left here? Oh, a little bit. Okay. So, just in case. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. All right. So just in case I don't have enough altitude, I need to watch that real close right now. But just in case I don't, I'm going to do a slight atmospheric burn or uh, an orbital burn. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, nope, there's no time for that. Well, there goes our antenna. Hopefully the heat shield holds. Fingers crossed. No. I'm not sure what we just lost. the nav system. We still have the parachutes. Okay. This might be recoverable. We might not be dead in the water yet. We didn't even lose the nav system. I left those open, really? Shump. Shump. Okay. We're all good. Drug shoots deployed. Main shoots de deployed. It's even that's even survivable for a for a living occupant. The G force is considering that. I mean, we we're going real slow a minute ago. And now lightly touch down. Thump. And there we be. Hey, stop it. Okay. Huge success. Let's talk about the mission. Alright, alright. Look at all that money earned. Yeah. Okay, and that's a lunar transitive orbit. Or a lunar transitive orbit and a return to Kerbal in Kerbal Space Program. And I think that's where I leave the episode. Thanks for joining me for that, everybody. 
and I'll catch you next time. See ya.